What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon and it is that time of the year again. I'm here at Supernova Melbourne at the Melbourne Showgrounds and it's a not so beautiful day. Normally when it's Supernova it's always a nice day but today's a bit ordinary. Uh, but it's all good. We're undercover. I've got the band back together. I've got Tony behind the lens. He called in sick all last year for the big cons but he's back so I'm excited to go meet some cosplayers but before I do that if you guys want to show some support for the channel and you do enjoy this video, make sure you give the video a like, leave a comment, and check out my Red Bubble store for some Simple Simon merch. Have I forgotten anything? Oh, also, I've got wireless. Guys, I'm here with you guys know this guy. It's Mando. How you doing, guys? Melbourne Mandalorian here, here at uh, Supernova on a Sunday. Couldn't make it yesterday. Hope everyone's feeling well. How you doing, Simon? I'm doing well, mate. I'm doing well. I always, I've been saying to people, normally when I come to Supernova, it's always a beautiful day. Today, it's a bit ordinary. I think it might play on the makeup a little bit outside. It, uh, yeah, didn't really rain when we were doing our makeup because the helmet came on first. So this is the way. <laughs> um, last time I saw you, you were in a different cosplay. I was you were doing, Bakugo. I was actually doing, uh, yeah, Bakugo from uh, My Hero Academia. There's a massive fan club here, um, Anime Con, and they got um, uh, DreamHack. There's a lot of things uh, that are going on. I haven't been to DreamHack, actually. That's one I need to consider. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to jump into there as well. Um, yeah, there was a lot of call out for, hey, why don't you do anime stuff? Like, well, here it is, Bakugo with the big grenades on his hand. And it, was, it was pretty hard to make, but um, it was very, very worthwhile. Made a lot of new friends as well, a different circle of, uh, of friends besides the Star Wars companions that I already have. It was very cool to see you in something different, you know? And, yeah. and mate, you definitely got the build for the bark you go, mate. This guy, you should see what's underneath here, mate. Very fit man. You're into fitness, yeah? I know you do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu oh, and stuff like that. Jiu Jitsu, yeah, I did Muay Thai for like 32 years, but I don't do it anymore. 32 years Muay Thai, okay. Yeah. Oh, that just kind of shows my age now. I did Muay Thai. Good, good. For two years. Yeah. 10 years and 20 kilos ago, <laughs> as I like to say. It's something I really want to get back into because obviously I have you know, put on the pounds over the last couple of years. All muscle though, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I don't enjoy gym. I don't enjoy lifting weights. I think it's boring. I think but it's I think boring. when I did Muay Thai all those years ago, yes. I just fell in love with learning technique and things. Yeah. And then I found myself going to the gym so I'd get more fit for the classes as well. Oh, right, you know? right. So yeah, that definitely does help. How do you enjoy Jiu Jitsu? Uh, jiu Jitsu is good. It's very different, obviously, from Muay Thai. I thought that after 32, well, probably 34 years of Muay Thai, I can't, um, you know, as, as age gets on and that, can't have too much um, impact trauma, too much, too many injuries. Yeah. Uh, in the first month of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, I had more injuries in my whole in the whole one month and in my entire I, life. That's <laughs> so, why I would love jiu-jitsu. I reckon amazing. you're more prone to injury though doing yeah. jiu-jitsu because I got a really bad neck and back and oh, have yes. people pulling on that stuff. I don't yeah, know. That's right. Sometimes it's a good stretch but yeah. um, you are your own worst enemy and they yeah. say in um, jiu-jitsu you can only, uh, you either win or learn and I did a lot of learning over the last four and a half years. <laughs> yeah, no. So you got some more plans for your Mando? Any upgrades coming up? Uh, some upgrades. So obviously the Mandalorian movie is being made. I'm afraid that he's going to probably have some more new gadgets but I'm really looking forward to making my uh, my Mud DeLorean uh, from season one. So uh, I think it's just um, it's something that hasn't really been done or seen here in Melbourne. I'd love to do that, working on it at the moment, but the mud's gonna weigh down the suit uh, probably by about 20 kilos, so it's going to be uh, interesting to see what happens. And how do you go about making that? Do you just dive in a pile of mud? Like... So, actually, that'd be great. They probably wouldn't let me in the door here. I'd be standing <laughs> outside taking photos with you. You wouldn't be red, you'd probably be brown. <laughs> um, so, making the mud, it's uh, consistency of like flow troll, it's like a paint conditioner, uh, some brown pigment that you can get online anywhere at art stores, and um, a lot of time, a lot of effort, and actually, a lot of mud and PVA glue. Nice. That's pretty much it. So, yeah, to be, uh, to be continued. Well, before I let you go, mate, the question I'm going to ask everyone today, if you had one superpower, what would it be? To continue um, uh, with world peace. Uh, we don't have world peace. Uh, one superpower for everybody to love each other and follow the way and uh, love and take care of Grogu. 
Okay, so that's your superpower. You're going to make people... I'm going to make... Yeah, that's the superpower. Exactly. I just control everybody. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, mate. Thank you very much. And you too, Gregor. You have a good day. You too, mate. Thanks for the follow, guys. Follow this guy. Awesome. He's super. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Hi, right, guys. I'm here with Charlotte. Charlotte, how has the day been? It's been great. Uh, I've been uh, looking at some cosplay uh, panels and I've been chatting with cosplayers at the HQ as well, just getting some information about getting more into cosplay and okay, what excellent. they do. Did yeah. you come yesterday as well? I did attend yesterday as well. And yeah. different cosplay? Different cosplay yesterday. Still Captain Marvel, but yesterday was more of a bulkier costume with a helmet and the full gear. Excellent. Um, a bit more relaxed today. Excellent. Well, tell me about your cosplay. What do you love about the character? She's a powerhouse, like she's a, a very powerful hero and when you put on that costume it makes you feel like, oh yeah, I can I can take on anything today. <laughs> and is that and is that what attracted you to cosplay? Because you did say you're kind of new to cosplay. I've always loved to dress up as a kid, yeah. um, as we all cosplayers have probably. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't until a couple of years ago that I myself got into actually crafting my own costumes. Okay. Um, I've been admiring cosplayers from afar for quite some time yeah. but I've only felt like it's been getting so popular lately that I had the courage to actually you know make my own step, stuff right? yeah. and take it to cons. Is this made or is this bought? This one is bought okay. today yeah. And what are some of the cosplays that you're working on as far as future cosplays? So I'm working on a old school Mega Man cosplay. Oh, okay. And um, you're making that one are you? I'm making that wow, one. Okay. I'm making the armour for the legs, the boots, the helmet, the chest piece Excellent. and then an undergarment as well and hopefully I'll have that finished for Dreamhack this year. Well that's that's just around the corner. That's just around 30 <laughs> days to go so let's get on to it. <laughs> Take us back to your first cosplay attempt. My first cosplay attempt uh, was another bought suit. It was Supergirl, and I love a cosplay with a with a, a, a cape. It makes so. Just to kind of touch base on what the community was like, how inviting they were, yep, yep. and once I had that down as my first experience, I was like, oh yeah, there's a, a, a big supportive community. I can actually. I can actually get something from this and be part of it and that's yeah. what boosted me. To Absolutely. It, so so yeah. I started doing this with Tony and I, in the beginning, I cosplayed because I felt like I needed to, to get in there, you know, and yeah. everyone's very welcoming and my cosplays I wasn't super happy with, but everyone, I used to always ask everyone a question of, you know, what advice we give to someone new who's too scared to take the first yeah. step. And they're all very inviting. They're all like, it doesn't matter how good or bad you look as yeah. long as you're enjoying yourself. I, so. as, a, as an adult, getting into cosplay is really hard because a lot of cosplayers, they meet each other when they're younger, in the early 20s, and yeah. they hang out together, cosplay, but adults have, you know, the full-time job. They can't commit as much. So yeah. trying to get into the community is hard at first. You have to be persistent making your contacts with cosplayers you see on Instagram or something like that. Ask them questions and approach Absolutely. them every time so that they remember you yeah. and that's how you get into the community. Last question I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask everyone for today, if you had one superpower, what would it be? Like the whole energy, like, okay, so uh, Phoenix from X-Men, yep. all of her stuff. Okay. <laughs> So you just want to be just, Phoenix? <laughs> just like you think of something in your mind and it just happens. Like you can move things, you can build things, you can you can do whatever, right? If you can just have that, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm asking this question to everyone today, but I don't even know what my answer is. But uh, you're selling it to me, that sounds like a pretty good power. Flying is also pretty cool, but you know, I feel like it's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm scared of heights too. Yeah. So. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Well, it was nice to meet you, Charlotte. Nice uh, you, uh, make sure you guys follow her. I'll have her IG down the bottom. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Dan. Dan, it's nice to meet you. G'day. How's the day been so far? Well, uh, mostly tiring and lugging around with heavy equipment, but so far it's uh, pretty good. 
Did you come yesterday? I did come yesterday. Because it's a big Fallout group, right? Because I have a few friends who uh, do the Fallout cosplay. Uh, yeah, so our Fallout Cosplay Australia, which is from our Facebook group, we do organize uh, a lot of like Fallout Australian groups. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of meetups and whatnot. And today was pretty special because the Fallout TV show is coming out on April 11th. Oh, is it a TV show? I thought it was a movie. Uh, no, TV. Oh, okay. By okay. Amazon uh, Prime. So, yep, yeah, coming out on Amazon Prime on April 11th. So we did a special like uh, group meetup before the show is coming out. As a fan of, I guess, the franchise, how did you react to the trailer? Ah, uh, I get goosebumps every time I watch the trailer. It is absolutely amazing because like they've been giving us a lot of teasers, a lot of build up, and the director has played a lot of Fallout himself. So okay, that's good. there's that's a lot good. of optimism uh, for the upcoming show. So it was well received from the community, I guess. I at the moment, yeah, okay, but so far we're, we're still unsure since the show is coming out soon. So, because there's a lot of things I've found that are coming out soon, and people were just trashing like Borderlands. Oh, yeah, I know people weren't a fan of that. Oh, yeah, uh, people have been trashing the latest Star Wars trailer <laughs> so much. Hey, you don't know until you see it, though, exactly. You don't know when you see it. So, at the moment, there's, there's a lot of optimism at the moment, but also a lot of like consideration that's, that's been happening within the community. Uh, tell us about your cosplay, yeah. So, cosplay, uh, everything has. Everything's pretty much all bought, so nothing's okay. been handmade, everything's all bought, but it took me quite a while to save up and track these things down. Yeah. Um, luckily, I got a pretty decent job, so that actually was pretty handy on that my helps. side. <laughs> that helps a lot. Um, but yeah, most, some of the stuff I hunted down from Facebook Marketplace, like the Plasma, uh, plasma Rifle. Would something like that be bought from another Fallout cosplayer? Like, is this uh, yeah, weapon it, from... Yeah, yeah, it can, because uh, most of these used to be uh, replica props from Bethesda, so they used to be sold in retail, like EB Games, GameStop, and stuff like that, like a long time ago, and they used to come out with different uh, other props back in the day during Fallout 4. So, yeah, like, hunting this down was, was quite a blessing, because, like, back then, they would have cost maybe around... A lot more expensive in retail prices. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, and how long have you been cosplaying for? Oh, wow. How long have I been cosplaying for? I think I started cosplaying around 2011. So, That's yeah. Some time. Yeah, for about a decade, more than a decade. And what are some of the other cosplays you've done? Like, what are some of your favorites? Favorites? Uh, so, back then, uh, I used to do a lot of like cross plays or, so, you know, running around in a maid outfit, stuff like that. But, but then I used to do I used to do male characters like I used to do, uh, Halo cosplay okay. uh, and whatnot. But but now I do a lot of uh, female cosplay and stuff like that. So I did like my dress up darling. That was a really oh, yeah. good highlight for me. Yeah, I think Sarah's a big fan of that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think my future upcoming cosplay is I'm thinking about doing Melina from Mortal Kombat. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I will be doing uh, I think for the first time in a while doing Yor from uh, Spy X Family. Oh, cool. Very so yeah. Cool. All fan favorites. Yeah, fan favorites. Okay. Excellent. Well, last question then before I let you go. Absolutely. If you had one superpower, what would it be? Oh, man. Just one. One superpower, mate. Oh, one superpower. Probably changing my body figure. That <laughs> <laughs> we good. I do gym a lot. I do gym every week, so okay. yeah, changing my body figure on the fly would be nice. <laughs> you wouldn't have to go to gym anymore. Exactly. Bang. Fit into every, like, a cosplay size. <laughs> Excellent. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Dan. I appreciate you doing nice that. To meet Thank you. you. Too. Cheers. I'm here with Scarlett. Scarlett, how's the day been? Uh, it's been good. Excellent. Uh, now, I saw you were here yesterday as well. Uh, tell us about your cosplay today, though. I am Taylor Swift Reputation. Ah, okay. There you go. <laughs> did you go to the Taylor Swift concert? Yes, I did. Okay. And how was that? Absolutely amazing. How far away were your seats? Uh, not that far. We oh, were in the seating area, like in the lower seating area of the MCG. Yeah. But we got a good view of the stage. And was it everything that you hoped for? Yep, definitely. That's crazy. I don't know, has anyone ever done a, a, tay, a tay Tay cosplay? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe it might be the first one. What inspired you to do Taylor Swift? Was it because you're still in concert mode from the concert? Uh, actually, this was like a last minute find. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. And how did you, is it like just bought, bought or did you make any of it? Uh, I did, it, this costume is rentable, okay. but I made the microphone. Oh, excellent. And how much time went into this microphone? It's a very impressive microphone. Thank you. I might need to make, make mine a bit prettier. <laughs> <laughs> I think yours is pretty. Hey, it's new. Oh. Uh, how much time went into the microphone? Uh, it took about 
three days to make because okay. three days to bedazzle it and then last night I made the snake. Excellent. And what is like the microphone part made of? Uh, I think it made out of plastic. Okay. This was just a two dollar microphone that I got. Oh, and okay. And then you just it. spray paint it. Oh, okay, yeah. excellent, excellent. Cool. Um, so, have you got more cons you're planning on going to for the rest of the year? Uh, definitely going to Oz Comic Con mm -hmm. and hopefully maybe Animanga. Okay. Are they doing that, are they? Okay. You know more about cons than I do. Um, and what are some of your future cosplays you got coming for those for those shows? Well, for Oz Comic Con, I'm going to be Grateful Buster from mm -hmm. Fairy Tale and Fluttershy from My Little Pony. My Little Pony? Okay. And. Have you ever done so? They're new cosplays of yours. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. All right. Well, before I let you go, there's a question that I'm asking everybody today. Mm -hmm. If you had one superpower, what would it be? Definitely ice. Ice. As it turn things to ice. Yeah. There you go. And what inspires that? Because I like the cold. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Excellent. It was nice to see you again, Scarlett. Nice Hope you enjoy the rest too. of your day. You too. Awesome. I'm here with Scott and Ryan. I know, I know Scott, but Ryan's a new face. Show us that beautiful face, mate. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, uh, how's your day gone? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Pretty quiet today. I think okay. half the con was in the Jody Whitaker queue, really. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's it. Right. Yeah, it's not too bad, you know. Shopping around, you got some action figures and stuff. So. Action figures. So you collect action figures. Oh, I collect everything. What'd you get? Can we see? Uh, sure. Moment. Oh, very cool, very cool. I don't know if you can get that, Tony, but it's so good. I can crop it in. Yeah. Scott, I know that you're a veteran of the game, but Ryan, how long have you been cosplaying um, for? About a year now. I think my first proper cosplay was actually Melbourne Nova last year. Okay, cool. Was, uh, and who'd you cosplay then? Uh, Rob Patterson, Batman. Oh, okay. And tell us about your outfit today. Uh, it is a red hood. Um, we're kind of a thing for like Batman boots and you know, just random stuff. I, did you buy it? Did you uh, make yeah, some I, of it? Like, I mean, I bought the shirt and like thing, I stuck it all together. It's not like a set costume, I just kind of pieced it all together. It's different sellers. Just... Nice. And Scott, who'd you come as yesterday? Uh, I was Wally West Flash yesterday. I did see some photos of you. It was, uh, I've discovered that people like the Flash more than Green Lantern because when I was walking down from the hotel yesterday, 20 cars honked at me and waved. And when I was Green Lantern, no one hawked at me. Who's that guy? So I know, I know, <laughs> really. So I think people like the Flash. That, that's what I took from that. And tell us about your outfit today, mate. What, uh, well, what went into it? I've done uh, Guy Gardner, I've done Alan Scott, so I figured I'd better get around to doing Hal. So, uh, shallow Hal today. <laughs> so, it's a, but yeah, it's, a, it's, it's not a bad, uh, it's not an uncomfortable suit. Uh, so. Have you got other ones you're working on at the moment? I've got eight cosplays that I'm doing uh, at the moment. So that's what it takes, Ryan. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's and the best camera roll. It's just <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So the only I've got seven finished and one that I'm working on. So okay. I'll, uh, we're rolling them out throughout the year. And Ryan, what's yeah. in the works, mate? What's um, something you're working on? I got a couple different things. I need a like, kind of started doing a Homelander. I brought it yesterday. I need some work. Cool. Uh, I'll be working on like a customized like Sanery sort of bat suit based off the McFarlane action figure that they released, nice. um, which will be for Christmas con this year. I've got a few others I'm thinking about, like you know you got like you know, Mando, like Red Robin, all those other people, just random here and there's, but nothing really in action. Just a bit. Well, it's nearly eight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I certainly have a long list. That's for sure. Scott, you've been doing it a long time. How many days a week would you spend working on cosplay? Oh no, just bits and pieces here and there on the weekends and stuff like that. So yeah, not that much. Um, but yeah, it's over a long period of time. Um, and you know, getting people, for me it's more about sourcing someone who can 3D print this, paint this, you know, repurpose. I mean, for when I was um, Flash yesterday, I bought a, uh, a Red Robin uh, cow 
uh, repainted it, 3D printed the ear wings and glued it on and uh, put the white eyes and, uh, you know, and suddenly it's a flash cap. So, you know, a lot of it's repurposing and finding out what you can use and what you can, uh, I mean, you know, printed this, so. Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, so that uh, was cool. I even got a couple of Marvel ones I'm working, I'm doing this year. Marvel? So thought I'd mix it up. We're doing a Daredevil at Sydney Supernova. Yep. So I've got Bullseye. Um, and then I figured there'd be a lot of people who would be uh, doing X-Men, so I've got a, uh, a, a classic Jim Lee Magneto that uh, nice. I'll, be, uh, I'll be wheeling out. That's that one I haven't finished, by the way. Before I let you guys go, the question I'm asking everyone today, it's a tough question. If you guys had one superpower, what would it be? Um, I'd say flight, maybe. Make it easier to get places. We don't have to play plane, plane tickets and all that. So. Scott, i got a feeling you're not going to go with flight. I'd go super speed, but I've got to be able to turn it off because at the moment, everyone in the world is too slow, right? I mean, they walk too slow. They get money out of the ATM too slow. They order their burger at Macca's too slow. I mean, don't get to the front of the queue and then look at the menu, idiot. It's been the same menu for 40 years. Mate, I order on the app now. You know what I do? I pull up in the car park, make my order That's on the app. That's what I'm saying, right? And then I drive through the This thing. is what I need. I need the world to become faster. Uh, and I think if I had super speed, it'd probably be even worse. So I'd need to be able to turn it off, I reckon. So. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks for doing that, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. Excellent. I'm here with Samantha and Chase. How's the day been? Fantastic. Good. Sick. Humid. Do you, do you guys come both days? <laughs> yeah, so we're here yesterday and today. Different cosplay yesterday? Or the same? Same. Same, same. okay. Yeah. I'm going to guess you get a bit of a workout carrying all these props. It's actually very light. Oh, really? Surprisingly. Did you want to hold it this way? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, yeah. That feels... How do I look? Tell us about your cosplays. Uh, so about took about two months to fully uh, do all the props, um, the sewing, um, all the making, fixing, everything like that, including LEDs in here and Zap, uh, which is on my uh, hip there. Um, so not a bad process in general. So yeah. And yours, Samantha? A lot of late nights. Yeah. We were basically just like. He would come over to my place and then we'd just smash it out till like two in the morning. Um, how, for how long? Two months. <laughs> so, how long have you guys been cosplaying for? A lot? Uh, off and on since 2014. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. And so? Yeah, same. Wow. He got me into it. <laughs> Alright, so take us back in time and tell us about your first cosplays. Uh, okay, so <laughs> out my first like official kind of cosplay was 2014 at Supernova. Um, we went together as Aaron and Levi. Yeah. Um, so that was your first as well then? Yeah. Oh, so you, you both started together? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's super cool. That's super cool. Yeah. And how have you found, I guess, being part of this community for so long then? Uh, really interesting to see all the techniques and all the ways that people have advanced things as well. Um, how all the different um, like new materials and things have come out and how it's become more affordable as well in Australia. Okay. Shout out Lumen's Workshop. Okay. <laughs> um, and tell us why you love these characters. Um, We've been playing League for over 10 years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Vi is one of my mains, and yeah, it just went really well with Arcane, like Arcane Season 2 coming up later on in November as well, um, so it just felt right to finally do League of Legends. And what's some of the future cosplays you got coming up? What you got planned? <laughs> we never plan. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we just kind of like decide. So how long did you oh, say? Yeah. Did you say two months? Two months. That's super quick, right? Yeah, it's pretty fast. And uh, I only learnt today from speaking to other cosplayers that most cosplayers are working on multiple things at a time, projects at a time. Is that same with you guys? Not with no. us. <laughs> okay, you just look at the, yeah. you just make, let's just get this done and then move on? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Excellent, excellent. And what are some of your favourite cosplays from the past? Uh, we done, she done Link and I done Skull Kid. Um, it was really fun but and it looked really great, but not so fun to wear. Okay. Yeah, it was a, a bit of a problem getting through doors with a massive hat. 
so didn't want to do that one again. Because I'm meeting you for the first time, something I used to always ask in my videos with cosplayers was if you guys had some advice you could give to someone who's wanting to get into cosplay but maybe afraid to take that first step, what advice would you give that person? A lot of patience and a lot of... Patience, trial and error. Yeah, if it doesn't work the first time, give it another go. Um, things are gonna not work the way that you think they would sometimes, so just trialling different methods and just hoping for the best really. It's just always about trying out new things as well. Final question I'm asking everyone, if you had one superpower, what would it be? I mean, it's pretty lame, but I'd like to be able to fly. <laughs> That's a, it's not lame, a popular answer today. Ah, uh, teleport, because I can go to other countries. There with, you go. Yeah, Faster. I fly yeah. to other countries. <laughs> exactly. So, just all the things here, just fly, like teleport to Japan, why not? Oh, Japan is a good place to go to as well. Yeah, exactly. Nice it was nice meeting you too. appreciate you doing that. Thank yeah, you so much. You too. Awesome. Hey guys, I'm here with Zillin. It's like Dylan with a Z. And Nicholas. Hello. How's the day been, guys? Oh, it's been great. You know, it's it's fun walking around, seeing other costumes around. It's fun buying things, seeing what people are selling. Yep. Yeah. Honestly, I'm kind of tired. We we came here yesterday. <laughs> My legs are dead. <laughs> Yeah. Did My you guys hurts. did you guys cosplay the same thing yesterday? Yeah yeah. 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 Okay. Can you tell us about this cosplay for those who aren't familiar? Because I'm not familiar with what you guys are doing here. All right. Oh, so mine is from a, a YouTube show called The Amazing Digital Circus. Okay. This is like the circus showman called Kane. Yep. And as you can see, he's just you know teeth and eyes. Okay. And I what I did is I made his jaw move by connecting it to my jaw. So. Oh wow! And That's and impressive. Yeah. That's very good. Alright, so uh, I'm cosplaying a character from an anime called uh, Freerun. Uh, my uh, character's name is Stark. I basically made this axe like with foam and then we just sanded the edges down and painted it. And That's then awesome. I dyed the wig, yeah. How much time went into putting these together? Oh, for me, I started around like the very start of February and I just kind of that's, consistently would work on it. That's fairly quick turnaround time for such a detailed piece. Yeah, I spent lots of nights at 2 a.m. working on this. So. Yes, yeah, you need to sleep, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Zelan, how much time went into the weapon? I mean, the axe, probably about 15 hours. Just like a lot of time was like spent sanding it and then like the paint job was quite fast. We did it like a week before the con, so yeah. Okay. Uh, and how long have you guys been cosplaying for? Because you look fairly young, so how long have you been doing it for? Well, I started two years ago from, from now, so I started with a Mugman cosplay, which is from a video game. Mm -hmm. And um, and yeah, I, I started for Supernova, and yeah, just ever since I've enjoyed it, so I've just kept going. Yeah. Excellent. Is that Yeah, oh, wow. uh, basically the same as him. You guys started at the same yeah. time? Yeah. We went to the first one together. Oh, awesome. I just met another two that met through cosplay and started at the same time too. That's awesome. Um, what are some of the other cosplays you've done then? I did one from Naruto. Uh, his name is Zobuza. He's got like a big sword. <laughs> and um, so I did that. I also did a Hollow Knight costume mm -hmm. and I did a, another Cuphead costume. So I usually make costumes with like big heads and stuff. Okay. Which is a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, well mine, uh, I haven't really cosplayed anyone interesting. I just cosplayed Tanjiro and yeah, I've been doing that like for the past cons until I changed it up this time. Okay, cool. What are some of the future cosplays you would like to do in the future? Oh, so I would like to implement sort of uh, uh, like eyes that light up and stuff. So oh, cool, I'd like yeah. to do another thing from Hollow Knight, like maybe the final boss. That one sounds interesting to me. Um, maybe something from Five Nights at Freddy's. Like oh, I like yeah. I'm making. Like a big heads. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that sounds like fun. I guess anything where I can you know implement my skills. And stuff. Nice. Uh, yeah, well for me, uh, I have like a group of uh, friends that we cosplay together. We'll probably do like a Plants vs Zombies cosplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we might go in a group thing as well. Cool, cool. The question I'm asking everyone today is if you had one superpower, what would it be? If I had one superpower, oof, probably do alchemy because I can make cosplays really easily. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, uh, super speed, you know, I can do everything fast, 
just yeah. Common exactly. power, yeah. It's all about that cosplay. That's right. It's all about the cosplay. <laughs> it was nice meeting you guys. Thank Thanks you for doing much. that. Hi right, guys, I'm here with Kate. Kate, how's your day been? It's been good. I only got here like 30 minutes ago. Honestly. Okay, cool. Did, were you here yesterday as well? No, I only came for the competition today. Ah, oh, so you're in the competition today. Has that been yet? It's at 3. Okay, cool, cool. Are you obviously competing? Yeah. Tell us about your cosplay. So it's pretty much entirely foam, some parts are warbler. Um, it's held together very well with contact cement, hot glue and acrylic paint. So it's just all made by hand. All the scales were painstakingly put by hot glue, all individually. So. And how many hours went into this? God, um, I want to say 100 plus, but like a few months. I yeah. spent days and days on it. So when you make, a, when you have an idea for cosplay, do you like plan it, so not for the next con, but maybe the con after, or the con yes, after that? Yes, it's after, after. I actually started this a year ago, okay. but I only, I took such long breaks because of how draining it was to place yeah. all of this. I think the tail coat and the um, staff are the hardest, only just because of the mental strain of uh, having do you, to do it. Do you have like multiple cosplays going at once, or are you just really focused on the one multiple. at the time? Multiple. Every okay. cosplay has multiple at once. Yeah, okay, okay. And tell us about the character. Uh, Dragon Mercy, it's based, It's just a skin from the normal Mercy uh, from Overwatch 2. Yep. Honestly, um, she's just a healer, but this I liked it because it was a t just an armoured skin of her, mm -hmm. and you don't see that very often, and yeah, I just yeah. wanted to build a foam armour of Mercy because, you know, okay. I just, my favourite character. Uh, how long have you been cosplaying for? Since 2016, I think. Okay, so, so a bit of a veteran now. Yeah, but just a little bit. I've only I've won one competition at Oxford Comic Con, oh, cool. and that just made me want to do more costumes. Yeah, I used to, I took a little, big break. Okay. That yeah, but now I'm just kind of getting back into the swing of things. And um, what are some of the other cosplays you've done? I've done the Keeper from Evil Within. Um, mm -hmm. It was also a foam build. Um, Pyramid Head. Um, a lot of different characters from Has Been Hotel. Um, just little random things. What was I, your first? Honestly, Pyramid Head slash Sailor Saturn from Sis Sailor Moon. Okay. I was really into um, like mixes of costumes. Yep. Like back in 2015, there was a lot of um, cosplay matchups. Yep. And everyone did it, so I was one of them to do that. Okay. So what's your favorite out of all the cosplays over the years? Mad Moxie, honestly. Okay. From Borderlands 3, thir third version. Okay. Because that's when I started making all the foam wigs um, from Borderlands and all that yeah. kind of stuff. I was into that for so long. But now I'm back into like normal costumes, I guess. Something I used to always ask when I did these videos, uh, because I've, this is the first time meeting you, I haven't asked this question for a long time, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. since you are very experienced at cosplay, what advice would you give to someone who was wanting to get into cosplay, but maybe a little bit scared to take that first step? I, I want to say the community isn't as scary as you'd think it is. Like, it's, it's, it's so accepting, and perfectionism is a curse. So don't be worried to go off a bit of the source material, just to have a little fun with it. Yeah. Like, we're all here to have fun. Exactly. That's the main thing. Like, I feel so cool right now. That's yeah. the point. You're supposed <laughs> to feel cool in what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, last question. <laughs> I'm asking everyone this today. If you had one superpower, what would it be? Oh god. Just um, one? <laughs> flying. I mean, it's pretty accurate to this character. Excellent. Honestly, Excellent. who would want to fly? <laughs> Excellent. Well, it was nice to meet you, Kate. Nice and you. and uh, good luck in the cosplay. Thank you so much. <laughs>